All right, so this is the second video in my learn how to create Roblox games playlist. And I'm going to go through some Roblox Studio basics. We'll start with this dark mode here, right? The background on my Roblox Studio is dark. Yours might be light. You might want to change it. So go to File, up in this upper left corner, Studio Settings, and then under Studio, you can find Theme. And default is currently light mode. So you might have that. If you want to go, to, you can actually just select light mode or you can go to dark mode. Cool. If you can't find it, you can do it in the search bar. You can go TH. So you can see that theme, T-H-E, theme. You might think backgrounds. So the theme's going to be hard to remember, but you can just look it up. Theme. Cool beans. I'm going to stick with black. Dark. Dark black. Dark background. All right. Now I'm on the new tab. I'm going to open up a base plate. I'm going to take a look at the... I'm going to take a look at the world here. This is a fresh world. You can play it, run around in it. It's got some basics already. All right, there we go. I think I did the keys in the last video. Up and they're in the description too, so you can just look them up if you have trouble moving around. But let's add let's add a part. Let's take a look at these windows first though. This is the explorer window. This is everything in your game. So Everything from the graphical user interfaces to server storage and the workspace. Workspace is this right here, what I'm looking at. If I open this up, I see a spawn location. And when I click on it, it highlights here. The base plate is this big thing you're standing on. If you want to look around like I just did, like that, I'm holding down the right mouse button. If I want to move in, W, out, S, A, D, E, and Q. I'll put that in the description too, so you don't have to look it up or try and write it down or something. But you should play around with that. You'll get good at it. Uh, if you have a wheel, you can go in and out with a wheel. You can also hold the wheel down to pan. That's pretty cool. Let's add a part, right? Boom, there's a part. You see it in my Explorer window. What happens if you lose your Explorer window? What happens if you lose all of your windows? Let's go over that before I get into any specifics of the Explorer window. So we don't have our windows. We can't follow along. Oh no. Go to view, Explorer. There we go. Properties. So Explorer, there's a workspace. There's my part. If I click on the part, that's the parts properties. That's going to be a very important window, right? Here's brick color. You can open brick color, right? Change the brick color. Brick color is from the rate Lego days, the color of the bricks. Right. I don't know if they actually match or anything from the old days, but uh, you also have this color here. <clears throat> you can change it either place, All right? This is for people who like RGB or hue saturation value. You even have a choice for HTML colors. So if you know like HTML colors, like like FF, FF is yellow with, uh, what is that? Zero, zero. There we go. So we have the RGBs. It changes everywhere and it's new yellow or for brick color. Cool beans. So Explorer, Properties, one more important window. Under the View tab, Output Window. So when we do print statements and stuff like that, the print statements are going to spew out here, right? You're going to have to know that. I'm going to make this bigger by holding Control down using my mouse wheel, right? Control and plus sign does that too. And also, errors are going to spew out here. I'll show you some of that too. Cool. If you don't need it, you can get rid of it. Boom, and then just bring it back when you go to play your game. I'm moving this by holding down the left mouse button and moving it around. But if we go to home, we have a move uh, a move button right here, right? You can figure out what the arrows do. Scale makes it bigger. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. And then rotate, right? Notice how I have a snap here. Maybe when you were moving, you might have a snap. It might be going snap, 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 not smooth like I'm doing now. If it does, go to model, right? You might have move selected here. And this three studs, each one of these little squares is a stud, right? That's also from the Lego days, the little studs on top of the Legos. And if this is selected, it's going to snap to whatever you have selected here, right? So it's going three uh, chunks of three chunks of three studs. I don't like move selected. 
I do like rotate selected for the 15 degree rotation. Let's rotate, hit the rotate. And that way I know that this is like 90 degrees. I usually don't need something at like 87 degrees, right? I usually 15 degree increments are fine. All right. So we did scale. We did rotate. We did move. This does all the stuff together. If, um, if you like that sort of thing, that's too busy for me. I don't use it. I just do one at a time. All right. What else? Collisions. Let's do collisions. Let's add a different type of part. See my part. I'm going to go back to the home. Here's my part. Let's add a, uh, a, a sphere, right? There's a sphere. If I have collisions unchecked, I can move things in the workspace into each other easily, right? If collisions are on, it bumps. It does not change anything in gameplay. This button is a build tool only, right? There we go. And also join surfaces puts a weld. So if you bump something up it up against it, it does like a weld. Did it get the weld? Did it not get the weld? It should have a weld. Let's play. Let's see if it sticks there. Sometimes it doesn't update. Nope. It didn't take the weld. Anyway, I never use it. I don't think it's very reliable. I don't like it. If you, oh, you know what will work? It'll, if you do it like a, if you do a, a, a block, a block will work. Joint surfaces. Move. Let's go to weld it. Pow. There we go. We got the weld. Now when you play it, it's going to stick there. I'll show you weld constraints. That's, I like that one better. Cool. It's welded. You can even jump on it. Awesome. So we can go ahead and save this off. Uh, I'm not going to use it in the next video, so you can, you can trash it if you want, but just for a review, if you want to save it file, publish to Roblox, I think it'd be like my second game, my second game, create. There we go. All right, so I shall see you in the next video.